Hey guys, so today we're going to make a wristlet keychain and I've already attached my one inch swivel clip um, keychain and we're gonna attach two cords. This is a five millimeter that I have um, in my shop. I'll link in the description. Um, I have two cords, they're each cut to seven feet, but we're not gonna fold them directly in half. So this side right here, the outer cord should measure five feet and we're gonna fold it. And then this one should measure two feet. Okay, so five feet and two feet when you fold it so that this inner one is quite a bit shorter. And we're just going to put that over there, tie it in with the Lart's head knot. Make sure that they're tight. And now, because I want to secure this part in so that it doesn't loosen up, I'm just going to do half a square knot. So I'm going to take the left cord and do a figure four over the center two. Take that right cord and put it over that one, behind, and then through the loop. And I'm just going to pull it nice and tight so that I know those ones are going to stay in place. Okay, so from here, I'm going to go down about one inch, so I'm going to leave a one inch space, and I'm just going to start doing regular square knots. So to do a full square knot, we I start from the left, go over the center two. This one goes behind, up, and through that loop. I'm just going to make it so that it's about right there. So leave an inch. This part doesn't have to be perfect. If it's a little bit more of a space or a little less, that's okay. Now we're gonna do it from the opposite side. So a backwards figure four over the center two. This one goes behind through the loop. And there we go. So there's our first square knot. And now we're just gonna continue with that exact same pattern. So full square knots. We're gonna do that 23 times. Well, for mine, I'm gonna do it 23 times, but if you'd prefer your wristlet to be smaller then you can do less if you want it to be uh, bigger just add on some more square knots Okay, so I've done all 23 of the square knots straight down. Um, and now we're gonna take these ends and what we're gonna do is where the knots end here and where the knots end here, that's where we're gonna line them up. And I'm gonna take that and then we're gonna put these ends through there. So once they've been looped through and these match up, we're going to turn it to the back. So where these cords are coming out of, and we're going to do a gathering knot. So I've cut this little piece. Uh, this is in the same color. It's a three millimeter of the braided cord, and this is available in my shop as well. Um, so we're going to loop it like this. I'm going to hold all of these into place and you want to have that little one coming up and that little loop hanging out of the bottom. So now we're just going to loop it around. So this is why we left the space so that it would um, not protrude out when we we're doing this gathering knot. You want to make sure this is pretty tight so that it doesn't come undone. Okay. Now 
once I've gotten as many rows as I want, I'm gonna find that little loop, put that in through, I'm gonna hold it nice and tight into place. And I'm gonna take that piece we left, and pull it up. And first I'm gonna cut this bottom one and I'm gonna pull that just so that it hides it through there. Cut that. And so there you have it, there's the wristlet.